Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Blocks Flow. In this video, we're going to talk about some cool facts you didn't know about the making of Roblox. So without any wait, let's begin with the video. When Dave Bazuki founded Knowledge Revolution, the idea wouldn't have been possible had Dave Bazuki not come up with a company called Knowledge Revolution. According to his blog post, the company was later bought out by MSC Software, and he took on a senior role in the company along with his business partner named Eric Castle. The transition gave him the freedom to come up with something exciting and new, which is the start of the creation of Roblox. The concept was developed in an office in Menlo Park, California. Eric Castle and Dave Bazuki stayed friends and the two men decided after a few years with MSC Software that they wanted to tackle a new project. They took their love for physics and decided to transform it into a fun game for kids. This all took place in 1997 before the two men worked tirelessly in an office in Menlo Park, California to solidify their concept before putting in the work to create it. It was created in 2004 as Dynablox. The game was first released back in 2004 as Dynablox, but it was a beta that was only open to select few players. This mainly included the developers themselves, but in 2005, they allowed more people to test it out themselves. They soon came to the conclusion that Dynablox wasn't memorable, which is why they changed it to Roblox a year later. It wasn't available to all players until 2006. It wasn't available until 2006, and that was when Roblox finally opened the play for everyone. It was also this year that they allowed players to make their own games, rather than the developers being responsible for its entire creation. This is part of why it's so popular as it opened the door for an entirely new form of gameplay and imagination. The logo has gone through several transformations. One of the changes the company has gone through is the transformation of its logo. Not only has its name been altered, but the coloring and style of the name have been changed as well. The most recent alterations in 2017 have come to give a more modern look and feel to stay with the current times. The colors have also transformed from a Google-esque rainbow to singular reds and blacks. The idea came from previous physics simulators. The two founders who came up with this game had formerly created physics programs to assist with the classroom learning. They were 2D games called Interactive Physics and Working Model, but they noticed that using them saw a, as more of a game. The men decided that they could take these same physics as concepts and turn them into a game to make profit. When they added multiplayer, children figured out things the developers didn't even know you could do in the game. One of the coolest things about its development is that the kids who played seemed to know more about the game than the developers. Castle said on their blog that the first day multiplayer was released, the kids discovered that they could build platforms on their backs and carry each other around. This was something the developers didn't even know you could do, and they all watched and all the kids playing the game discovering new things. It was eye-opening for them and showed the potential the game had to offer. Many of the company's workers came from Knowledge Revolution. Knowledge Revolution was helpful in jump-starting Roblox as they had already had a fleet of workers who were ready to help them with this new idea. They recruited several other former employees and even past networkings helped them land a few top-notch graduates. It might not have been an established company, but their top reputation went a long way to making this game a reality. Bazooki had an obsession with construction toys. Bazooki has always been amused by construction toys and it played a part in the creation of Roblox. It's part of what founded the idea for it in the first place, especially when combining it with other social networking. It created a basis for the game as he wanted a world where players could use their own imaginations to build, as well as spend time with their friends in a virtual world. They are continuously expanding. One aspect of Roblox is that they are continuously expanding to make it even better. This game is not only available on Xbox and PC, but they recently added to it Android and iOS app stores. They have also made it possible for creators to earn money as well, and it goes to show how progressive they have decided to be as the game is never truly done being made. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.